Android Auto and Apple CarPlay have been the greatest things to have came out in the last couple years. Changed my mind. Hello and welcome back. I'm your host, Vigal D, and let's make this old car a little bit more modern. I mean, it does have a CD player, so bonus. I have a product for you today. Essentially, it's a budget-centric device that hits all the check marks, has all the features you need for CarPlay and Android Auto for any older vehicle. The good thing about this type of device is that you can use it in any vehicle and take it with you wherever you go. Some people don't want the hassle of installing a new system or a touchscreen that might not fit in their car. There are some workarounds, but sometimes they look a little bit weird and just off. Most modern cars have this built in. My car, for example, has it, but older vehicles sometimes don't. I have a dongle that gives it wireless CarPlay, and trust me, it's worth it. There is a little lag with audio, but it's not a deal breaker and it's not always noticeable. You can pick up this product off Amazon right now for under $130. It's one of the cheapest options for this product category you can get right now. Some of the high end ones have better screens, they're quicker, faster, they have cameras, front facing, and back facing scene and they do have extra features like i said this is for the budget centric in mind and the other ones are double or triple this price off amazon a company called hinini sell this product it is a seven inch screen it's 1024 by 600 ips screen 300 nits of brightness it's not the brightest but but it will work in sunlight as bluetooth and wi-fi for wireless connection and inside the box you are given car charger with two type a ports you're also given the arm for the device you can rotate any which way you can accept in pretty far out. You are also given the instructions. The aux cable itself, it's fairly long. You're also given a sun visor to help keep sunlight out of the screen. The walk around with this device, you have a sticker on the front. Do not play any games or watch any videos while you drive. Common sense. On the left side, you have the power port, micro SD, USB, AV cables, and the aux port. And on everything else, there is nothing. It's plain. I have several different devices. I have two Android phones to see if this might work with it because you need at least Android 9 to 11. For wireless Android Auto, it's hit or miss. It's kind of a mixed bag just because it's Android. iOS, any modern iPhone will work just fine with it. Basically, all you have to do is plug it in. There's no actual internal battery. Remove the screen. It takes about 10 seconds for it to actually boot up. You have compassive touchscreen buttons on the bottom. Volume up, down, home. On the home screen, you have the option AirPlay, CarPlay, Android Auto, and wireless Android Auto. You have other things on the side. Volume up and down change the wall screen equalizer for volume boost the external speakers on this I don't really recommend because they're not that great for the options for settings you have different things for like screen brightness Wi-Fi Bluetooth you don't really need to mess with that you're also given an FM transmitter you can scan for different bands if you want to listen to the radio you have options for Bluetooth music and phone but I mean you'll have your phone connected to you have a smartphone so Android Auto Apple CarPlay so it kind of makes this a little bit irrelevant but they offer that. You can play music and videos through an SD card or USB, but the simple fact that it's more of a low resolution screen. When you get this device, I recommend only ever really using Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. All the other built-in features, I don't really recommend. They're not that great, and it's kind of a hassle to get it all set up. To actually connect your iPhone to this device, you go to Bluetooth, you search for the name, you connect to it, you'll give it a code. As long as the code's the same, you will connect, which I am a little bit surprised. This actually works really quick. Use the speakers, they're washed out. She grinned at me over her coffee, the mug hiding her smile, but not between that. I suppose not. Oh. Her expression was a mixture of relief and disappointment. He has set and broken the hot dog record that first made him famous 15 times. The Jewish Federation... Yes, it's a different story. Yes. Jason, let's, let's <laughs> see that one. They're flat. It's not a good experience overall. The responsiveness is a little bit slower. There's a little bit of slowness, jittery, but I mean, everything works as advertised. This is one of the cheap options in this price category. It hits that check mark too. It does everything it's advertised to do. This can also mirror your Apple iPhone to this, but if you're also connected to CarPlay, you have issues with that. But the screen, it's a seven inch 1024 by 600. It's a little bit washed out. Viewing angles, are passable. This LCD panel, you can tell it's cheap. It's a budget one mirroring your screen. It's kind of a mixed bag for iPhones. It will work if you disconnect the Bluetooth for Apple CarPlay and then just mirror it through Wi-Fi over this device will work. It's a mixed bag. So just stick with Apple CarPlay. It'll make your life a lot easier. This means 
The screen can draw a new image once every second and consume much less battery. Previously, smartphones with always on display. This device also offers Android Auto, wired or wireless, and you can also mirror your Android device with this too over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Android itself is a mixed bag. Sometimes it works with it, sometimes it doesn't. Wired Android Auto will work with Android 9.0, but if you want wireless Android Auto, you need at least Android 11.0. This device is only Android 9.0, Lollipop. There's no actual OS updates for later one, so having it plugged in with a USB Type-C cable Android Auto works just fine. Voice navigation, search, all my other applications will work just fine. So that's nice. So Google Maps, Google navigation, text messaging, phone calls, all your basic stuff that you want to use with this will work just fine. There's other applications like Facebook Messenger, streaming services, Pandora, Sirius XM Radio. All that works just fine. It uses this device as a medium. Use the aux port from your vehicle for that. Like I said, wireless Android Auto will only work with 11.0 not lollipop which is 9.0 which i've been trying to get this to work for about an hour or so there are a couple different apps you can download you can give it wireless android auto with any older device but i've been trying for the last hour to recording this video i cannot get this to work whatsoever try to do the screen mirroring i've tried 20 different things to get this to work and i have had no luck in conclusion if you grew up with the generation where you use a garmin or a tom tom navigation to get around in the early 2000s this product would be perfect for you if you have an older vehicle that doesn't have any modern technology and if you wanted a bigger screen for navigation music controls if you have an older car that doesn't have bluetooth if you have an aux port you can connect your aux port to this and then connect your phone via bluetooth or whatever means and then you can play all your media through that so when you get into your car, you're not plugging anything in. It basically connects. You're good to go. You can take off. And if you want to use navigation on a bigger screen and not be distracted by such a smaller screen, such as your phone, this would be a good product for you for that. In conclusion, this is a decent product for the price point. The screen isn't the greatest. It can be a little bit slow and buggy at time to time, but for the price point of under $130, this product has all the bells and whistles. It hits all the check marks needed to satisfy what you want as a consumer. So I feel this product is good for what it does. It's a budget level device you don't get all the premium features as the more expensive one it's not bad so like always i'm your host vld smash that bell subscribe and stay tuned for all that weird obscure apple tech peace